Creo Parametric 9.0 sees the design tree being enhanced in a number of ways. The out-of-the-box configuration of the separate design tree is optimized and shows consumed bodies and quills as well as their contributing features by default. Also, the general support of this tree in part modeling has been broadened to additional contexts and applications such as welding, simulation and others. Simpler default names for quilts now align the default naming scheme between bodies and quilts. New quilts are therefore simply named using a running number index such as quilt1, quilt2 and so on. The example in the video illustrates this with the snapshot creation workflow for a consumed quilt. Custom groups in the design tree are enhanced to support features in addition to bodies and quilts. This enables you to group important datums or construction elements. More information on this enhancement is available in a dedicated What's New introduction video. Additional naming flexibility is provided for custom groups. You can have several groups with the same name or use a name that's already used for a different object type, such as a body or quilt name, for example. Feature reordering can now be initiated from the contributing features list as illustrated by reordering the round 7 feature in a way so it gets regenerated before the round 1 feature. Additional intelligence has been added to the autolocate capability when you select geometry from the graphics. In situations where the corresponding feature created more than one quilt or body, the feature is highlighted underneath the body or quilt that the selected geometry actually belongs to. In this example, we first select geometry from the LED1 and then from LED2. The external Add Bodies feature is therefore identified as the involved contextual feature in both cases, but highlighted underneath the expected body respectively. We added queries by type to the quick search. This allows to quickly search or filter down to all quilts or all bodies, for example. You can also combine criteria, for example, to search for all hidden bodies. For the quick search, search criteria are typically connected logically with a Boolean end condition. In the example shown here, we search for bodies or quilts with the visibility state hidden. This is possible as the new type queries are connected with an OR condition in contrast to the typical end condition between the quick search criteria. All these enhancements provide you with additional flexibility to work with a design tree and organize design items.